Hello, hello. What is going on, my fellow prefix, my little beanies? It is I, little bean. And this is Koa Mio. And welcome, welcome to February 2024's NRC Times. We got a lot going on this month, uh, especially on the JP side, as you can probably clearly see. <laughs> it's going to be an exciting month this month. Wouldn't you agree, Koa-chan? It is interesting because I believe it's actually pretty tame compared to previous months, uh, but still exciting and completely new things ahead. Yeah. As you can kind of see from the banner on top, which we will get into shortly. We'll get to that one. But before we get into Burb Dad here, uh, <laughs> we we do have some things. Uh, luckily, as you said, Koichan, it is a little bit more tame this month. Thank goodness, because last month absolutely destroyed me and I need time to recover. <laughs> <laughs> I need some time to recover from that. But uh, just starting off this month, uh, we are continuing with the Master Chef event, uh, which is the Sweets Revolution featuring SR Vil and SR Jack. So if you are on JP and you're enjoying that, I know I am. I love Master Chef events. So, uh, you know, just something nice and easy to, to start off the month. Uh, there's also the continuation of the ruggy club ssr campaign so that's ruggy in his magic shift outfit so uh that is mm -hmm. continuing on for a little bit longer which is nice for all of you ruggy stands i know there's quite a few of you out there so uh enjoy your boy in his club gear which honestly is way cooler than it needed to be like what the hell <laughs> It does look really cool. Like, I never thought about, like, their uniforms, but, um... I know! They always well, show up in their PE uniforms, right? Well, that's it, and, and like, I don't know, you see, for example, because, I mean, Magic Shift is so clearly based off of something like Quidditch, and after you've seen some of the Harry Potter movies, the Quidditch outfits are, like, fine. They're, like, they're like gym outfits with more padding and whatnot, but these are, like, full-on cool. They got, like, like skin tight with like all the straps and everything and it's like it has no business being that cool and quite frankly appealing <laughs> they're really yeah nice uniforms to wear but it's funny because then they go into like you know whatever internationals or against rsa and then completely get wrecked <laughs> get destroyed yeah so it's like you have two sides of a fandom one side going like basically like drooling at the mouth going oh my god they're so sexy how 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 can this be and then the other half going man these guys look so cool and they freaking lost to these losers for like a hundred years straight <laughs> <laughs> yeah you show up with all this drip but then you lose anyways in the match yeah. at least they look good while they lost yeah right you got slay <laughs> but uh, i guess uh for, for right now it would be ruggy but uh you guys know what that means apple and leona are soon on the horizon and uh, i'm sure a huge chunk of the fandom cannot wait to get Get Leona's Club SSR card for I mean, obvious reasons. They're already making fan art of it before his card's even out. I know. Right. It was Ruggie's card, and yet on Twitter I was seeing all the fan art of Leona. <laughs> but uh that aside, Ruggie stands, please enjoy your boy. Uh his SSR is out for a little bit longer. But getting into uh something else at the start of the month uh is a birthday the first birthday of the month which is my bestie Kaken <laughs> cater diamond happy birthday Kaken and uh we're definitely gonna be pulling for that one i don't know about you koachan but i am because he's my bestie i gotta try okay oh, i don't think i've really pulled on his b-day uh banners before but yeah. at the same time he does look nice in casual wear i think it's still his union jacket right is yeah, it it's okay, his... yeah. Oh, no, 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 what? it's not. No, no, it's no. not. He's the first one to switch over, remember? I thought that was on EN, right? Or In EN, it... yeah, yeah, yeah. So he switches over to third year now. Oh, my God, yeah. I was oh like, God. that's true. <laughs> so on JP, yeah. it's... Uh... Yeah, you still get his Broom K, but then on EN, yeah. it's going to be a new series. Okay, we'll see that on the English side. No, no. In, in JP, it's gonna be his uh, his platinum uh, his platinum outfit, and then on EN, it's supposed Real, to be his broom K. Card. Oh, okay, yeah. See, so yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like different and schedule way, parallel alignments. Listen, either way, it's Kaken, and we gotta pull for our NRC bestie. Uh, I I have to say, I don't have a lot of gems thanks to the absolute uh, destruction that was handed to me last month. But uh, you know what? We still have some keys that we get from the start of the month, and uh, we still get a free ten pull from everyone's birthday. 
day, so I will definitely be using that for Kaykun. Uh, I have to at least try. Kaykun to this day has been my luckiest pull ever in Twist. Like on JP and, and yeah. I don't know because for me, Cater has been like nothing but spooks. Like his SSR has shown up for me so many <laughs> times. I'm just like, hey, Cater, I know we're besties, but like. Yeah, I calm down a little bit. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like it's funny because I, I I have like some characters that are either like consistently either show up really like rather early or you know don't show up at all or whatever. But Kaykun has been kind of all over the place for me. Some polls it's like pretty easy, and then some polls it's absolutely disastrous. So it's like you know there, there's no uh, there, there's no happy middle ground. Kaykun is either he does not show up at all, or you know he is my best pull that I've ever done in this game. So. <laughs> We'll see which one he feels like when his birthday comes around. But uh, continuing on from that, uh, a surprise rerun that I, nobody was expecting. <laughs> uh, I think this is the second rerun this event is having, and that is Beans Day. Surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly. It's the second Beans Day, actually, or Beans Fest in this case. So that's the one with SR Bill, uh, Arkar, ja uh, Jamil, I mean. Um, yep. And then so, question, looks... what, what can they get from the, uh, if, if for some reason you're newer to Twist and you'd like to know what uh, what's coming out on uh, the in, in terms of banners, what can they get in the banners? So they also feature SSR Floyd and SR Ooh. Rook. I remember this banner very well. <laughs> I think a lot of people do because that, that, that combination of characters is uh, quite deadly for a, a lot of fans. It was also just for like really reasons. nice uh, card art of them for that event. It is. Yeah, I remember. It is. It's really good. So for those of you who missed it the first time, here is your second chance. This is your chance, guys. I mean, what what else are you waiting for? I gotta. I I, I can already hear the uh, big congregation of Octavianel stands going more Floyd. So, <laughs> <laughs> and this event runs from the looks. Oh, it looks like it was originally run in like what 2021. Wow. Some like wow. Has it been that long? <laughs> Wow. What the... <laughs> yeah, originally ran yeah. in 2021 in like May. Wow. That's interesting. In... That's crazy. I can't now believe it. Now they're doing it again. All oh, right. doing it again, yeah. All right. Well, enjoy. But that, that's, all, that's all at the beginning of the month, though. This is all early February. So uh, I guess there's got to be more stuff coming in mid-February. Mm -hmm. And here is the big thing. The big thing that everybody is freaking out about online that you saw up there. We are getting a new type of event. And this event is called the NRC Practical Magic Class. We do not know yet what this kind of e uh, event entails. However, we know it does come with a really surprising uh, new pull, and that is an SSR Crowley card. Ooh, first staff member, <laughs> and first it's Crowley, staff no member, less. Yeah, I know, like, <laughs> I wonder if this will open up to other staff members in the future, right? All I know, uh, Krell Sensei Nation rise up. Oh okay. my god, the day <laughs> Krell Sensei gets an SSR, I can feel the internet tremble. <laughs> like, tr Trembling, you mean like screaming out in sheer joy and <laughs> like pure simp energy, okay? Listen, and I, I will be there. I will be among you, okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, starting oh. off, uh, SSR Curly in this, uh, it, from what I hear so far or understand, it's going to be some type of battle event. So, you know, we have hmm. like our NRC exams, and but I guess now we have going to have an event that's just dedicated to like, like fights. Or like different uh, uh, combinations, or I don't huh. know how exactly it's gonna work out. It's the first of its kind, but I guess if Twist just wants to uh, get into the fight mechanics a little bit more. Yeah, listen. Either way, it's gonna be really interesting. All I know is that I know there's. I've seen quite a few people who are really excited to see an SSR Crowley. Um, I for one think it's gonna be really funny if we get SSR Crowley and you have to like take him to class and he's gonna be like <laughs> sitting in the class with the rest, with the rest of the student body and then he show he shows up for the special lessons so he's no, getting lessons that, from that, himself. Not gonna lie, that, I, I actually want to see how they're gonna get that working, right? Cause yeah. like it was weird enough when Rolo kind of just sits on the. Class. Class, but now we have like, yeah. Crowley like sitting in on trains class <laughs> attending like flight lessons like yeah which I can't I can't even enjoy laughing at Rolo like sitting in on NRC classes because I didn't get him so. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, but yeah. either either way it's gonna be interesting I know a whole bunch of you are probably gonna be pulling for burb dad so uh good luck to 
to those of you who are pulling for him. Uh, will I try to pull for him? Yeah, we'll, we'll see how many gems his, I can save. His okay? car looks really nice. I have to admit, it does. his car looks it does. really cool. It really does. I, I really enjoy it. And uh, <laughs> so that's going to be taking up a, a pretty good chunk of the, the middle of the month. But we are still not done yet because at the very end of the month, to cap off the month of February, we have another birthday. And it's your boy. <laughs> it's Azul Ashton Grodo's birthday campaign. Oh, it's birthday happy birthday, Azul. February 24th. Yes. And with that... Uh, to, to complete the Octavianel uh, circle there, first we get, you know, SSR Floyd with Beans Day. Now we're getting some Azul birthday stuff too. There's going to be a lot of you polling for him. I already know it. Azul is much loved by the fan base, both <laughs> in JP and elsewhere. So uh, good luck polling for him if you are polling for him. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I could pull for him. Azul and I have a very uh, cankerous relationship when it, <laughs> when it comes to the gotcha. Yeah, he's... Okay. I feel like my gotchas with him have been very hot and cold. Sometimes he just shows up within 30 rolls, and other times it's like heart, like pity all the way. Yeah, well, my boys is always just pity because they know that I want them. So, But Azul, Azul is the one that I like, I don't want, and then he shows up anyway. Uh, please see my poll for uh, Sum Azul in uh, JP because oh. that right there is the encapsulation of Azul for me. So. Oh, that's so funny because that that gotcha broke me. Like rolling oh, on yeah. that, it was and it was a. I, I I don't I feel like I don't even want to mention what happened on what happened to me on that one because like I got I got a video of it and it's better if you just go and see my reaction because honestly like it, that that will never be repeated I'm sure but it's basically like an encapsulation of my relationship with Azul and Gotcha so. <laughs> But despite it all, I'm still gonna pull on this birthday gotcha, and hopefully he comes sure out. I'm you will. And you know what? I'm probably not gonna pull, like, too much on it, but I might just use, like, the, the free 10 keys that- or, yeah, the free 10 pull that you get, so, yeah. But, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it in terms of, uh, events or anything on the JP side, at the very least. So, some, uh, continuations of ongoing events, a rerun, a couple birthdays, and this one new interesting event with an SSR Crowley. So that'll be interesting for sure. But uh, that's it for the JP side. Let us uh, head over to the English side and see what is cooking there. All right, let's go. And welcome back everyone to Twisted Wonderland on the English server here. What's coming in February? You can also see in the preview card there, but... Mm. Starting off in early February, of course, as we mentioned, it is Kater's birthday. Uh, Happy birthday, Kaykun! Happy birthday, Kaykun! So, yep, he gets the February fourth. Interesting. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be like this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's all uh, very soon. Yep. And um, of course, all the birthday promotions still apply. Of course. And then, uh. Right, at, right after that, yeah, we have the Basketball Club Bonus Token Showcase, which is kind of interesting. interesting. It's like all the basketball clubs, so Jamil, Floyd, and Ace, I guess they're returning again. Yes, interesting. Yeah, we do a lot all of reruns. Right <laughs> Listen, man, I, I did so poorly with all the basketball cards, okay? It makes me want to cry. <laughs> I think the only, funny enough, I think the only one I got was Floyd within the 30 I, polls I do for each I think show. the only one... I want to say, I think the only one I got is, it was Jamil, but I'm like, shit, did I even get Jamil? I don't even know. Oh, I gotta go look. <laughs> no longer remember. It's just like, eh. <laughs> I gotta go look. Listen, if I didn't get basketball Jamil, I, I'll, I'll have to, like, I don't know. I'll have to, like, m Minecraft myself, okay? Because, honestly, how, how could I not get him? I But now I need to d double check, okay? Because I'm doubting my entire existence right now. Either way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But yeah, I guess we're getting a basketball club bonus, so that'll be interesting. So uh, if you guys, if you like getting stuff for the furniture, the guest room, this will be something interesting for you guys. I like decorating my guest room, so um, for me, this will be a lot of fun. But I know for some people, they're not really that interested in the guest room. It's it's subjective. You know? <laughs> I'm kind of neglectful of my guest room. I've decorated yeah. in bursts, and uh, then I just like leave for a couple months. Which is so strange, because it's like the opposite for us in Genshin Impact, where you go all out with your teapot in Genshin oh, Impact, yeah. and I just like don't touch it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I spend like hours <laughs> designing my teapot and furnishing everything. And then meanwhile, Twist, I'm like, uh, I'll put this in this corner here and then forget about it. Yeah, and I'm like the total opposite, 
where I like I decorate my I've I've got like multiple layouts going in in my like twist guest room whatever that I like switch up occasionally. But then my teapot and Genshin, I'm just like I've got like such bad choice paralysis. I'm like I don't know what to do, so I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, following the Basketball Club bonus token showcase, we've got everyone's favorite. <laughs> Speaking of exams and Crowley, yeah, they are. Do we get the return of the exams? Because exams are inevitable and always comes like every, feels like every two or three months. Eh, I don't like them. And now they happen twice as often because they're on both servers. <laughs> yep. So... But hey, you know what? The one thing you can get with exams are the the exam tokens, and you can get some pretty decent stuff out of the shop for them. So even if you're like us and you don't like the exams, at least you can get some tokens out of it. At least you can get some good mm -hmm. stuff out of the shop for get it. Get those keys. So, yeah, absolutely. That's that's the important thing. But uh, continuing on in mid February. Oh, a new event hmm. to the English server, at least. This one we already did in JP, but we are having another culinary crucible event. This one called the Pepper Pandemonium. Mm, mm, and so. who are our delicious lucky chef boys this time? <laughs> so we get SR Idia and SR Ace, which is funny because I cannot imagine either of these two like being kitchen like chefs no i can't imagine either of them being <laughs> they like, both feel like takeout boys whatever. the boys are just like i yes. don't want to cook i'm just gonna get takeout <laughs> yeah i feel like the funny thing with ace is that he'd be like i feel like he'd be able to prep food well but then when he came to actually cooking it he'd just get like neglectful <laughs> <laughs> whereas like idia i feel like he just is afraid of a kitchen <laughs> he's he he lives off of candy he doesn't even cook his his, Health his and diet, diet are horrendous. I was gonna say, his diet consists of candy and instant ramen, okay. Yeah, so not the best, but pepper pandemonium, so the theme will be, of course, featuring some peppers and uh, paprika is included mm, under that yeah, category yeah, yeah. as well. I love spice, so this is mm. good for me. <laughs> Tasty. But yeah, so that's interesting. We got the uh, current Master Chef going on in the JP server, and we're gonna get a culinary crucible in the English server. Just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> culinary crucible never ends. You grind one it's kitchen, good. and then you get to the other. That's good. I like it. I like this. <laughs> culinary more, crucible more farming. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then coming mid to late February, uh, as you saw from the uh, wonderful banner up there, we are getting a track and field club SSR. This time is Jack. Ooh, SSR Jack. Mm -hmm. Track yeah. jersey. I mean, hey, he's uh, he's packing, okay? <laughs> I remember, yeah, he's probably one of the first where Twist actually decided to show some skin in terms of, like, arm muscles. It's like, oh my we god. We were graced with we were graced with the forbidden beef. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, you're actually oh showing goodness. like skin. <gasps> the entire <laughs> co the entire community implodes. <laughs> yeah, but of course, uh, with this club card, it gets you know the creation of furniture, uh, more club tokens you can get. So those of you who yeah. are aiming for Jack, good luck. Yeah, and just as a as a side note, because I always forget about this, the the tokens that you get, like the club tokens you get, you could actually go in the shop and buy like layouts and stuff for like the track and field thing. I always forget about it because I just assume that all the furniture is in the guest room, but quite often it's not. So don't forget to check the shop and check mm -hmm. the um, uh, the uh, the event shop the event area because they'll often have the uh the tokens there so please don't forget about that if you're wanting to uh, pad out your room but uh yeah and to finish off the month of course as we mentioned before it will mm -hmm. be azul's birthday so uh happy birthday octo boy <laughs> happy birthday woot woot Wood, wood. So yeah, and that's that's it. That's what's going on. We've got a couple birthdays, uh mm -hmm. we got a club uh no, two two club SSR things going on in the English server, uh, a Master Chef or Culinary Crucible going on in each server, um, a st strange rerun in the JP server. But yeah, other than that, the big thing probably is going to be the this new event with SSR Crowley. That's probably going to be the big thing mm -hmm. this month. But other than that, it's a pretty um, pretty easygoing month, you know, pretty chill, pretty calm, which is nice because yeah. I need to recover after whatever the hell January was. 
Yeah, because when I look at that on the English side, we got, you know, birthdays and banners, but we don't really have any sort of story or um, event intensive. No, and intensive. there's no, like, events. Yeah, so no, no like, Which event nice. story. Um, and then on the nice. yeah, JP side, um, aside from the Beans Fest rerun, it's actually not that yeah, many story uh, events happening yeah. as well. And besides, we've already done the Beans Fest story, and if you guys haven't already, you guys should go totally check that out and watch us go through Beans Fest because it is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was fun, I will say. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun going through yeah. it, but it both the, the first part and the second part, they were both a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's funny that, you know, it's, pre it's so chill on both sides. Well, chill, but in terms of Twist standards. But kind of yeah. chill in both, uh, February and both, because, you know, Twist, we once again, does not have any Valentine's Day event. Cries. <laughs> Cries. I'm so upset over <laughs> that, man. Yeah. And it'd be one thing if maybe, like, oh, they miss Valentine's Day, but then they did something for, like, White Day. But they don't do that either, you know? So I, to, to this day, one of my big things is still do, like, a Valentine's event or, like, a Christmas event. I, just, I still want one of the two. Yeah, it would be nice if they had, but it's really yeah. funny because you, you know, as a uh, twist is, I would consider, a, like, a Jose Muske game or, like, a, tar a game targeted towards like in quotations like women or like otome mm -hmm. beings but <laughs> they uh, don't really yeah do any they don't capitalize on that well i think it's because it ha it's under that disney banner right so they kind of have to keep everything pg and valentine's sort of has this implication of romance behind it but i'm like they don't you're disney I, they probably don't want to encourage how many that but then the same... do you have how many <laughs> listen listen okay disney execs whoever the hell is making this game you guys don't want to like promote any sort of romance with these boys but then malleus draconia exists okay stop it <laughs> you stop that <laughs> yeah, like, lines from like rook and malleus who are just like okay you just got displaced you like forgot what the category of this game was yeah. and then you clearly just, like... these two did not get the memo okay you i still can't Get over the fact that sometimes when you log in and Rook is just there and he tells you that you grow, grow more beautiful every day. And it's like, what the hell? What do you mean this isn't an Otome game? <laughs> like, ah, shucks. Thanks, Rook. <laughs> yeah, you just like sit in. But then you remember it's Rook and you're like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess the boys are just too problematic to host a functioning Valentine's Day event. I think they should anyway, and I still want SSR Cupid Rook. I think that should be a thing. <laughs> yeah. Or even a Valentine's event where they, they're trying to sabotage it, I think would be absolutely hilarious. That would be really funny, <laughs> honestly. I think that would be really funny. That would be good. Um, yeah. I, I think that, yeah, I, listen, there's so many good, interesting ideas they could do for a Valentine's event. Like you could do, you could do, uh, you know, as, as I said, SSR Cupid Rook, you could do... I saw somebody who uh, said that they wanted an SSR Riddle as like a like king king of Valentine's Day or something. Toboso would be right in her element drawing this really pretty Valentine's outfit for Riddle a la Ciel Phantom Hive. Okay, like mm -hmm. you could do it. You could do it either way. I, 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 I would really want a Valentine's event. But since we do not have any Valentine's event, I guess we will have to settle... For burb dad <laughs> yeah we so yasashido <laughs> yasashido so uh, well i guess nice of you. <laughs> we will see how kind he truly is when we try to pull for him yeah yep. but uh that's everything for the month of february thank you so much you guys for sticking it out listening to our ramblings um <laughs> listening to our hopes for a twist in the future and uh yeah which uh event or which thing are you most looking forward to in this month now i want to say it i want to say that it's crowley but i'd be lying because i really like master chef events so i'm mm. looking forward to the master chef events yeah well i'm definitely gonna try you know <clears throat> get the master chef cards and then i guess like sink a bunch into the azul birthday is probably yeah good luck with that gonna happen <laughs> that's probably what's gonna end up happening it's like yeah well, let me maybe toss a bit for the crowley event but then Listen. it's like it's gonna sink into azul Listen, Koachan, I hope you have better luck with Azul than I did with Malleus, okay? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I just got, I just got some PTSD Oof. there. <laughs> that was rough. That was rough. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that uh, whatever you are pulling for this month, you get it because you deserve it. But for now, everyone, this is going to be uh, Little Bean. And Koa Mio. And we are signing off. Don't forget to take care of yourselves and of each other. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.